Chris Crone here, REI TV, and today is Mindset Monday. And listen, there's a lot of hype and talk about this law of attraction, but who cares if it doesn't work? Today we're going to talk about the law of gestation. This is what adds mag magnetizing power to the law of attraction. To understand how that better works, I want to share with you a short segment from recently being in front of hundreds of people explaining powerfully precisely how this law can work in your life. Okay, law of gestation. Gestation, gestation. They always use this one in terms of like mommies having babies. That baby needs how long to gestate? Nine months. There's a natural period of time, a gestational period for all acts of creation. Just like seeds that take time to grow before they yield fruit, our dreams and goals must be nurtured, cared for, over and over until they are manifesting into reality. Patience and perseverance allow for dreams to become a reality. So check this out. Did you know that it takes 19 days for a mommy-filled mouse to produce a baby-filled mouse? It's so cute and small, but it takes 19 days. That is its gestational period for its DNA that has to form and grow into this thingy, right? Baby chick, my wife and I have got chickens. And there's like, inside every mama hen, there's like six eggs in there at any given moment. She pops one out one a day. If you want to know how long it takes to gestate a jaguar, 93 days. And an elephant, oh, this is a big one. How long does that take? 645 days, two years. Let me ask you, for the moms in the room, No, 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 I was, I was not making a correlation between elephants and moms. I don't get it. I missed something. It's all good. For the moms in the room, when you are growing a baby, what would happen if you said, hey, I just want to take a break from this for a week. Um, biology for one week, stop producing the baby. Just for one week. I just need a break. And then you know what? We'll jump right back in. We could even play some catch up. What would happen to the fetus? It can't live. In other words, you can't stop, you cannot halt creation without killing it. You want to know why you don't get your dreams? You halt creation. I want this, I want this, I want this. I'm not sure if I want this. Dead. I'm going to do my goals this January. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I've, I'm, I'm totally like day 14 into this thing. Day 15, this is really hard. I'm done. Dead. You lost a day. You lost something. When you halt creation, something happens. There is a consequence and a cost. So why do we get in alignment? So that you stop finding all the different ways of getting in your way so you can produce and create what you want. Let's make it real practical. Tomorrow we're talking about goals. You get a chance to hear from Jane Norris, Gerald, and myself on a bulletproof plan on making your goals unstoppable. How many of you want some of that action? Okay. Let me lay a little foundation. Top, goal achieved, side, lesson learned. You either did get the goal, you didn't. You either learned a lesson or you didn't. If you, first top left quadrant, get the goal. If you learn the lesson, what would you call that? Oh, yeah. Love it when that happens. They gave me a board. Who's got, who's got their board? I didn't want a board. Where's this board? They gave me a board. They said to break it. And I broke it, and I broke through the belief, and I am, I'm successful. Well, how many of you saw people last night judging their success when they didn't break a board? That is so jacked up. Watch this. What happens when you don't achieve the goal, but you learn you are unbreakable? Friends, it is not less success, it's not more success, it's what? If you want to break the board, you have to celebrate your lessons until you get the goal achieved. Write that down. You have to cherish the lesson more than the achievement. You have to cherish the lesson more than the achievement. Here's what that means. I didn't break the board, but I learned a lesson. Dude, think about it. How did we get jacked up in the first place? Life went my way. Awesome. Life did not go my way. Failure. No, 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 no. You can't do that. You're playing the odds. Don't gamble with your life. 
If you, if you played life that way, then here's what you do. Parts of my life rock, and parts of my life suck. Don't be rocking and sucky in the same human being. Like, make up your mind that it's so bipolar. All right. You get the goal, you don't learn a lesson. Maybe you learned all the lessons, but you, you just know now. It's like, yeah, once upon a time that was hard and I learned how to do it, and now I do it effortlessly. Like my first time getting to six figures, I'm like, oh man, just figuring out how to do this. And now it's like, dude, if I didn't make six figures, I'd be like, that'd be crazy. So what happens if you get the goal but you didn't learn a lesson? What would you call it? I would call that success. Man, are you starting to get a glimpse of what it's like to live in my life? It doesn't matter what happens, I'm always what? Oh yeah, oh yeah, everything goes my way. Dude, that's, everything goes my way. Try it on. Goes my way. Man, how does that feel? Man, if you believe it, you can make it true. Because you've got to believe it before you see it. Well, this last one. I didn't get the goal. I didn't learn the lesson. We call that a story. <laughs> Won't believe what happened. Man, first we get the story. We take our pain, we turn it into suffering, and then we spread it like a virus and tell everyone in our circle of influence so that they can protect us in this horrible little inadequacy thing we do. Change your mindset. If you got a story, all you got to do to fix it is learn the... Because I want to show you something that happens in life. I need a volunteer to come on up. Brandon, will you come up here real quick? I want you to lay one on me right here. Whoa! I want you to smack me, not smack me. Okay. What he just did right that was gentle, that was sweet. Guys, give it up for Brandon, it's so nice. See, honestly, if I had been irking him there, that may have been a little different experience. But what I have right now is I do have a physical response. Um, the nerves are firing, they're saying there's a feeling of discomfort, we would call it pain. Guys, pain is a part of life. Pain happens, I stub my toe, ouch. But if I turn it into story is where I dwell on it and I turn pain and I transmute it into suffering. You won't believe what Brandon did to me today. Oh my gosh, he hit me. Okay, that's suffering. The pain is gone, my cheek doesn't hurt anymore. Eventually it's temporary, right? But my perception afterwards is going to define the rest of my life until I make a new decision. In this moment, I'm making a decision. Still love you, dude. High five. Guy, give it up for this guy. All right. You got to learn. This is, friends, I'm telling you right now, if you do not write this down or take a picture or do something, you're going to miss one of the most powerful lessons of this law. In Hawaii, there's this road to Hana. Anyone here done road to Hana? It's on Maui, the north shore, north side. And the very first time I'm on Maui, they said, you've got to do the road to Hana. So my wife and I, we get a convertible so that we can witness the thing. And they say, it's the most amazing journey. And you get to Hana. So I'm like, this is great. And they're like, wait a second. It takes all day. I'm like, dude, this better be a really good Hana. <laughs> Hana better be amazing because I'm in Hawaii for a week. And that's a full day. Is this a good opportunity cost, good investment? Well, I took them up on it. Oh, my gosh. We had the book Maui Revealed, stop at mile marker 1.7, trek into the jungle and see this amazing sacred waterfall and go have a skinny dip or whatever, right? Oh, two more miles down the road, Red Sand Beach, only one on the planet, Black Sand Beach next, you know, the gulch with the seven different sacred pools. And you're seeing like the craziest, like 50 mile journey of awesomeness as you're driving all day. Day of my life. And then we roll into Hana. What the crap? There's nothing here. Hana is nothing. There's nothing to do in Hana. Your destination is not what should ever define any of you. The journey. Here's the switch. Learn to be what? Learn to be fulfilled and accomplished while moving in the direction of your dreams and allowing the laws of creation to manifest your desire in the appropriate time and space. It will take time to gestate. Time and space need time for faith. 
Babies take nine months to form. You can't do it in four months, and baby elephants don't come in one year. They'll die. Things take their time, and when you're not aligned, they take longer. So you got to learn today, if you're going to be happy, you got to stop saying, when I, then I. When I, then I. When I get there, then I'll be fulfilled. No, 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 no. We're all jacked up. we got thousands of beliefs to break through, but i just got to break through one today to get present again and to live right here in this moment. That's what I need in this moment. Not all of my beliefs fixed. Just one. Live these laws. If you want to learn how to live them more powerfully, I want to invite you to click the link below and to join us at one of our upcoming three-day events called Limitless, where we talk about these nine laws of conscious creation because I'm telling you that if you can become an expert at manifesting in your life, you can create the world you want. Whether it's real estate manifesting wealth that way as I do, or whether it's just finding peace in your relationships, in your health, and just the personal power that you stand in, it's worth it. And Law of the Harvest will help get you there.